Church, I want you to hear what I've been given from you. The gifts that you have bestowed upon me right now, I will attempt to use them wisely. Sister Tamara, please read. Brother Gerald, what is the Holy Spirit? Who is he? All, all, all three. Oh, all three, excuse me. Brother Gerald, who is the Holy Spirit? Who is he? What turns you on? <laughs> and when is it okay to give up on someone? All right, church. Question is, what is the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit is not personified, so we will not say the Holy Spirit is he or she. Preach it. Preach it. But the Holy Spirit is like a breath, a wind that whistles in when you least expect it. The Holy Spirit brings us to the fullness of who we can be. The Holy Spirit is not something we can engender as if we were making Kool-Aid. <laughs> the Holy Spirit comes from that which we know not, but that which we receive. The Holy Spirit is with us this morning. Yes. The Holy Spirit says to us in our own ways, be who you are. The fullness of who you are is infused with divinity, divine, the Holy Spirit. So therefore, I've been asked what turns you on, Reverend. Well, I'm here to tell you what turns me on. It's the feeling that comes from beyond. What turns me on is when I realize it's not Gerald Davis. <laughs> oh no. It's coming from ancestors. It's coming from folks who walked this earth before I was even a glint in the eye of those I would call my parents. You see, my being, my passion, my Whole etra. Come on. <laughs> Comes not from that which I can do, but that which I am chosen to be. The Holy Spirit and passion that I have is infused with everything I do. Because church, let me tell you, if I'm not moving with the Spirit, I'm not moving. So that when I go to work in the morning, for that great bureaucracy called the Oklahoma Department of Human Services. <laughs> I walk into that place and I'm saying, how y'all doing? Because I'm doing all right. I'm filled with something that I hope you got, because we got to give it. And you got to be filled up in order to give. So my passion, my passion, church, my passion comes from knowing that I am doing the work of those who have been called to do the work. And I'm standing on the shoulders of those. And I'm here to tell you today that I'm just passing by. I'm not here for long. But what I am here to do is make sure that you get it too. All right. All right. All right. All right. Which brings us to that point when we say, how can you apply all that? When we talk about when is it time to say goodbye? When is it time to give up? When is it time to say I'm done? Stick a fork in me. <laughs> well, church, let me tell you that it's not up to me or anybody else to tell you when it's time because the Holy Spirit will let you know. The Holy Spirit lets you know, you know, you know that story about that man who said, I'm going to heaven. When God calls me, I will go to heaven. And suddenly there was a downpour of water that became a rushing, roaring flood. 
And the man moved from his floor, bottom floor, to the second floor, and then finally up upon the roof. He's on the roof, and the flooding waters are, 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 are coming up, and it's not receding. So he's saying, oh, what shall I do? A man comes by in a rowboat, says, come on, brother, jump in the boat. We got to save you from this rushing, roaring water. Oh, no. I'm not going anywhere because God told me I'm going to heaven and God will take me on. They said, all right, well, finally there's a helicopter came down and they dropped down the ladder. They said, come on, brother, climb the stairs on up to safety. He said, oh, no, I'm waiting on the Lord because the Lord said when it's time I'm going to heaven. So the helicopter flew away and the waters came up and finally overcame him and he drowned. He did indeed go to heaven. He saw God, he said, why didn't you save me? Why, why didn't you, 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 you come down and lift me up? He said, fool, I sent a rowboat. I sent a helicopter. And you still didn't want to do it. So when it's time to say goodbye to the ones we love, when it's time to say I've done enough, I'm shaking the dust from my feet. When it's time to say, I must move on to other challenges. When it's time, you'll know. Come on. Yeah. You'll know because the Spirit will infuse you with that understanding, the finality that says, it's all right. Because your work is done here. Leave this person in my hands so that I can work some more on them. So I say to you now, go to Tamara's couples class. <laughs> and get what you need in order to say goodbye. Amen?